Who would have thought? Knights trading in wine while some witcher guards the common folk. Your health! May you keep it evermore. Turn steadily! My Camelac aches something fierce! Which man? to enjoy an evening of fun with my jewels all pinched and potted. Armor chromed, engraved or fluted, whatever your heart's desire. Let's see what you got in stock. I know you're busy, but you up for a round of Gwent? Here, Master Witcher! Over here!
you, bro. Good man. I need Skill a like a store. At your service, sir. The racing model is one I recommend. Light, durable, and a mere 50 crowns a piece. I shall pay you double gang, for fighting there, Ray. Gang, 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 gang. With the heft of my hand and a mighty cry, I pound steel and watch sparks fly. Ah, a professional. I like to trade with your kind. You actually appreciate quality workmanship. What have you got there? Yeah, what do you got there? <laughs> Squire steel sword. Tucson Night War ham Hammer. Tucson Duke of Guardsman steel sword. Tucson Crossbow. What the hell? <laughs> I got nothing to sell to him, I guess. He's a journeyman blacksmith, not master craft uh, master crafting. Master crafter, I guess. <laughs> Care for a quick round of Gwent? Oh, he got skill again. Deck, I guess. says move summon avenger this card is removed from the black battlefield it summons a powerful new unit card to take its place hmm something new here king bran no one can replace bran though they are sure to try units only lose half their strength in bad weather conditions Wait a bit, please. Although, it's fine. <laughs> Bovine de defense force. Grr. Passive is so funny. It is going to redeem. I 
Only Trade Warrior. Madman Lugos. <laughs> Holger Brechen. Now let's drink to Emperor of Newgard. May his prick forever stay with him. Blue boy Lugos. Well, this card is nice. <laughs> I'm there near ready to puke from boredom. <laughs> Skelga Storm. This ain't no normal storm, this here is the wrath of the gods. Reduces the strength of all range and siege units to one. Not a problem. Young Berserker. Say, now we've got some new cards in our deck. I can play only as Craft and Trade. Oh, also, we've got some new cards here. Which, uh, the tournament organizer uh, just gave us <laughs> Penheime is called Deeds of Penheime will go down in history Turn a brand Long shit. Why not? Can drum and shield made it. order of armor smith. You in for pounding. Berserker. Kill trash clean. Transforms into a bear when emerge from a card is on with throw. All the yards, yards together. Now make your case. Clan and Crane Warrior. Or a long ship. I bring the Uncrane such glory. Bars will go for singing my praises. Here. Man, the polite ones at least would call me a monster, a blood drinking freak.
This is quite an unusual deck, I see. Skellige Storm. Instead of more than falling, let's drink for memory. Like a card, I'd say. Okay, so let's drop some items in my stash and continue onwards. Hmm, there's a quest here. Switch it. I have a matter of prime urgency and import. I must speak to you. No, oh, Guillaume. Your wound. Feeling better? It's healing splendidly, though I am to avoid trouble for some time. To be frank, that is precisely why I wish to speak with you. Want me to stand in for you? Take on some trouble on your behalf? That could very well be the case. You see, there is a maiden, nay, a lady. I suspect someone's cast an ill spell upon her. A curse, perhaps. Let me guess. She suddenly grew cold, haughty, and distant, though the night before she was flirtatious and alluring. Tut tut, Witcher. You jest, yet the matter is grave. Though true, the lady in question is dear to my heart. I shall not deny it. I fear she has fallen victim to ill magic, and knows no one she could turn to for help. What makes you think she might be cursed? You must keep all I say to yourself, I beg you. I would never dare to be so indiscreet normally, yet I'm troubled about her, for her. Vivian shuns the company of others. Though the fairest maid at court, she keeps men at a distance. I thus determined I would resort to trickery. Trickery? That even befitting of a knight? In war, yes. And what is love if not battle? As it were, one evening I crouched in hiding outside her seamstress's home. As Vivian emerged from it, I too emerged, ever so gently but convincingly collided with her, then promptly offered to escort her home. She consented. At first, all argued well. I proposed a more scenic route. She agreed. I made kindly forays into conversation, and she even began to respond as we neared the end of our route. Then suddenly... Then suddenly, mid-speech, from her mouth there flew a most hideous shriek. I stopped Stone Cold in my tracks while she turned red, then promptly ran off. I did not give chase, that time. I attempted to approach her on several ensuing occasions, to learn what had happened, for I feared she had become entangled in some trouble. I noted that often, come night, she ventures into the woods, where I've seen her walk about a glade near a pool. I've striven on occasion to follow her, but lost track each time. It seemed then she'd melted into the air. Sound you heard. She might have just had a sore throat. Had I thought it possible the sound was natural, I never would have taken up your precious time. Notice any other strange behavior? Additional symptoms? 
No, Vivian's avoided me wholly since the first encounter. But folk gossip. What about? They say she's secretive, that no one ever sees her after dusk. That she's wanted to suddenly disappear. Nothing unusual about any of that. Tell me more about Vivian. Who is she? What's her story? She's her enlightened highness's lady in waiting. Her mother was a lady in waiting. Her father, a knight. That is all I've learnt, for the Duquesa grows angry when asked about her. Vivian spends her days within the palace walls. Yet we are in luck, for she has been named a tourney's patroness this year. Thus, each participant will be granted an audience with her. Got a problem then. See, I'm not a participant. I've devised a solution already. You should take my place in the lists and thus gain the chance to speak to her. I was looking forward to winning the tourney, very much so. Yet for Vivian, I am prepared to sacrifice anything. This tourney, how's it work exactly? It is the year's grandest and the most important contest. Knights from all corners come to face off for the grand prize. And more importantly, for glory. A demanding test of knightly prowess in horsemanship, marksmanship and fencing. I qualified for the first time, had great hopes of winning. Yet... Yeah, I get it. Anything for Vivian. I won't ask more of him because uh, we already have a very large pouch of money, so... Fine, I'll look into it. Gotta admit, piqued my curiosity. I shall be forever in your debt. Now, we must ensure you are not eliminated from the tourney before you can meet Vivian. Meaning? Could you show me how you shoot, ride and fight, perchance? And you must learn the tourney rules, know how to apply them in practice. I, I did not mean to suggest I doubt your abilities. Everyone must train, even a witcher. Besides, the tourney contests must surely differ, require skills you don't usually apply, races above all. The choice is yours. Where shall we start? Marksmanship. I feel I need to do some shooting. Come with me. The marksmanship contest shall pit you against another for the best time and score. He who hits all his targets first wins. Hope my aim's as good as that Cupid's who shot you. Sometimes when you speak, I miss the meaning entirely. Hit the red targets! Hit the Nordlings. <laughs> Once more. Glad they give it another try. Once more. Done enough shooting. Where to now? If you wish to know my thoughts, where are you, I would train on the race course ahead of all else. Let's do some riding. Rocha like that. Excellent idea. Come with me. The tourney's race differs from others you might have taken part in. You shall not ride against any opponent. How is it a race at all, then? It's a race against time. The true track begins in the arena, runs round the tourney grounds, then finishes again in the arena. The training track, however, lies beyond the arena. We shall go there now. Oh, they know a butcher of Blaviken by the mere sight of me. 
All is ready. Now listen, for it can be quite a challenge. Along your route stand dummies and targets. The dummies you may cut with your blade. The targets you must hit from your crossbow. The time you have to complete the course shall increase each time you land a strike, be it with blade or bolt. It may sound simple enough, yet I've seen many a knight fail this contest and hang his head in shame. During the race proper, judges throughout the course shall tally your points, for now you may ride unperturbed by those matters. Whoa, this is some interesting thought. Not in combat. Holding down an attack button will trigger a slow motion mode, which makes it easier for you to strike your target. He will decide for himself which side to attack from, based on your enemy's location. Now that man marksmanship, holding down the aim button will trigger a slow motion mode. While this mode is active, Roche will maintain her speed so you do not need to hold down the gallop button. They're fighting. Come on, Roach. Have you had enough, or do you wish to ride again? Why not? No harm in going again. Practice makes perfect, even for witchers. I wonder why he always uses the left side when he strikes ah, with sword. Dummy has died. <laughs> I think it's easy enough. Will you give it another go? I can set out more dummies. Had enough. Rather not wear my horse down before the real race. Where to now? Be nice to swing, do some footwork, work up a sweat. Very well. We shall practice infantry combat one on one. Each knight opts for his own method. Rainfarn, for instance, fights halberd in hand. What? Come with me. You will team with other knights to fight. The clash simulates a true skirmish during battle. Come the end, you shall fight a duel. It will determine your place on the podium. I always liked the duels the best, but now I can think only of my Vivian. In the end, it is good you will replace me. I sense I would simply be distracted this time. You can't pull one over on me, Witcher. Yeah, I can't. My eyes is spy from Boris. Where have your journeys taken you last time? Hail passing. Hey, you just run through people. I can do that. Where the good prophet Leviota lively and strike. Stand at the center of the training ground. A knight will approach and challenge you. Find him. I can fight. I must go. Damn it. I expected you to do well, but not that well. <laughs> I would have fight more. Could probably use some more practice. Usually fight monsters, not knights. 
<laughs> I can fight. Can I use science? I expected you to do well, but not that well. Think I've seen enough. Sorry to be blunt, but the simplest Witcher contract demands more skill than this kind of combat. <laughs> <laughs> now you must go to the inscription tent. Honor and glory are all true and good, but your scrolls must be in order. Witcher act always with reason. <laughs> Catch some wings, grab some teeth. It's what life's all about, isn't it? A crap. The international, the international Knights Journey under the patronage of Lady Vivian de Tabris, 1275. Participants registered and qualified to take part in the contest. Gregoire de Gorgor, winner of the last year's tourney, he shall not participate in the general competition but shall fight in the final bout against the knight who earns most, the most points. All signs seem to indicate Gregoire will defend his title. And says Prince of Lyria in Rivia, joining us for the third time in a row. Form Akers Park, Prince of Mecht, rumored to be of the Emperor Emir's blood, here for his fourth tourney. Baron Pelmerin de Launfal, his sixth time in the tourney. Donmir of Troy, a Redanian knight, his first time in the tourney. Rainfarm of Etre, for the seventh time in the tourney, victor of the 1269 edition. Guy de Bois Frene of Metina, a second cousin of Renoir, Reynard de Bois Frene, one of her grace knight's errands, third time in the tourney. Delvin of Krigia, Krigio, probably. A young, young knight in the tourney for the first time. Thames de of Dorndale, a knight of the Order of the Flaming Rose, first time in the tourney. Linos of Metina. Could you write down something in chat, please? For what? <laughs> Linus of Metina, third time in the tourney. Guillaume de Launfal, Baron Palmerin's nephew, first time in the tourney. Later, on the end, um, due to injury, Guillaume has transferred his place in the tourney to another knight. Yeah. Here's your message. <laughs> A return to traditional values and morals. 
That is the remedy for Tussauds' problems, not two swords. What's your problem on two swords? Greetings. Want to join the lists? Naturally. We must first see to formalities, however. At Guillaume's request, I have looked into your personal history in its heraldic aspects. Really? What did you come up with? My findings show you may take part as Geralt of Rivia. What a surprise. Or as the Honorable Ravix of Forhorn. It's not every year we have a combatant who can boast of two crests. Which do you prefer? Kinda curious what you could have learned about Geralt of Rivia. In the year 1267, a certain Geralt, a member of the Witches' Guild, was knighted by Queen Meave and dubbed Geralt of Rivia. This was in honor of his distinguished service at the Battle of the Bridge, said structure spanning the Yaruga. But I wager you know of which battle I speak. Mm. Yeah, those were the days. Kahir and I led a fistful of Nordlings against an entire Nilfgaardian battalion. Won that battle just because we absolutely had to cross the river. Ravix of Forhorn? How do you manage to dig that out? Here in Toussaint, we treat heraldry very seriously. One visit to the Ducal Archives. That is all I needed to acquire the necessary information. Ravix of Forhorn was the name under which you attended a feast honoring Princess Havetta, daughter of Queen Calanthe of Sintra, on the occasion of her 15th birthday. That's actually right. Whoa, what a nice person. He actually dig digged some information about Geralt. Hmm, will that actually change anything if we choose anything? Holy shit, that's a really precise history. Indeed. So, I think we should join as uh, um, Geralt of Rivia. Yeah, I'll join as Geralt of Rivia. Thank you very much. I'm Geralt, not about to fight under a false name. You may now take the shields bearing your crest. I'm a witcher. Shields aren't something witchers ever use in combat. Who mentioned using it in combat? Not I. The shield commemorates your participation in the tourney. You may take it as a souvenir. Hmm. In that case, thanks. Have you been instructed as to the tourney's challenges, prizes, and vows? If not, I do hope you will allow me to tell you about them. Guillaume told me a bit about the contests. Rather make sure I'm clear on them, though. An admirable thirst for knowledge. There are contests three. A shooting range, where you will compete side by side with an opponent. A horse race, during which you will seek to complete the course within a specified time. Any targets hit with bolts or dummies felt with blade will increase the time you have. Finally, the group melee in the arena. Crowned with a duel against last year's champion. As each contest ends, its results will be posted on the board outside my tent. This way all will be apprised of who leads at any given moment. Convenient. Gonna come right out with it. I'm a sucker for prizes. The winner of each contest shall receive a trophy. Whoever has the best result once all contests have played out shall face last year's champion in a final duel for glory and the title. Should you defeat the reigning champion, the grand prize will be yours. This year, a sword forged especially for this occasion by the one and only Cornelius of Asengard, a famed master weaponsmith. 
Her illustrious highness had it brought all the way from Nazaire. You say something about vows? As is our custom, knights make vows to which they hold for the duration of the tourney. Each swears on something which to him represents his most cherished virtue. Oh, that's an epic one. Feels like I know everything I'd ever want to know about chivalric tourneys. Splendid. In that case, you must make your vow. Upon what would you like to swear it? I pledge you'll hear it. <laughs> I solemnly vow on the heron that in competing I'll respect the chivalric virtues. May the gods succor you in your endeavors to overcome. The sign here, please, then fill out these forms. That is all I need from you. Now, as arranged by Guillaume, you shall be fitted with appropriate armor for the tourney. Hey, we never agreed to this. Shiny. You have also been assigned a tent for the tourney's duration. It stands near the arena. Good luck. There was a troll of on her hands guard. <laughs> what is this exactly? Some clowns wear? Sir Geralt of Rivia's armor. Okay. There. Some nice gauntlets. Some nice trousers. Some nice boots. Well, that's the first time we see girls in full plate armor. <laughs> yeah, well, at least we can keep our filling crossbow. Ah! nipples! Get That's better than the Witcher gear. No, it's not. Looky here. Witcher gear is better. See? This is really convenient that Geralt really acquired uh, search ti uh, titles of... Armor chromed and graft or fluted, whatever your heart's desire. That he really was knighted. Uh, wait a bit, please. By the way, some advice about Guillaume, he hired you, so please tell him everything you know, he has no bad intentions. I have nothing to hide any of uh, something from him, so... After all, he hired us exactly for the info.
So, what I need is that. <laughs> Grave pine blinders. To some blinders. The clear blinders. I think I'll just buy er, er, each and every one. After all, these are for our beloved Roach. <laughs> I got no, nothing to hide from Dion, so. For a round of Gwent. So he, I think he deserves true information. After all, he's a knight. I guess. <laughs> Only one spy here. I know he got many. Well, knights are three headed sometimes, but at least they're not evil mostly. I hope. set of rounds was cool. Nice. Three pieces of iron ore. <laughs> at least... At least 69 points. <laughs> Decided to turn knight errant. All dressed in inside here on a job. You in the 22? Am I? Ha! I shall square off against Rain Farn of Atre. I saw him just moments ago. A nervous wreck. Stuffing his nose with fish tech, no less. As if that would aid his determination. Guessing that's against the rules. But who's to tell the Nifgardian what to do? Listen, Geralt. 
I foretip for you. The timing of your marksmanship duel is such that you shall have the sun in your eyes. Makes no difference to me either way. Nor will it give you any pleasure. Since, as it is, we must both wait. Play me in a round of quaint. Should you win, I shall swap with you. To me, a southerner, the sun is no hindrance. Never turn down a round of Gwent. Hey, I want all some money. Come on. <laughs> Oh, so you're squirt, you're going down, mate. Ridiculous. that to make him use his medic if he has it, he even has one. have thought about that. 56 points. Swap us agreed. We've passed the time rather nicely. Lady Vivian should appear forthwith. I'm off to face my first challenge. Good luck. one of your number, the Tawny's grand prize. You have sworn your vows. You have ready body and soul. The time has come to test them. Behold Horm Akispark of the Mechtian royal line. 
His name's quite the mouthful, a true challenge to rhyme. His targets to be hit centrally and true are the ones in blue. Against him, new blood, a knight unknown till now. Sir Geralt of Rithia, give us a bow. The targets he must with his quarrels thread are red. May the better man win. Oh, well, where did where did this ass appear? Like a lava ghostly grasping, but one fair teeth, girls half strewn with joyous victory and bitter defeat. Geralt jumps ahead, leaves the others behind? Do I see this? Sir Geralt of Rivia has trounced his foe, pounded him soundly, immersed him in woe. Your prize, sir. A crossbow adorned with your crest. I congratulate you. Thank you, my lady. Girl, the previous crossbow. Now that's an epic one. Would you tell me about the other prizes? Alas, I cannot devote more time to you than to the other combatants. I have duties to attend to. Forgive me. My medallions vibrating strongly can only mean one thing. Magic. The explanation is disappointing, I'm afraid. The fragrance I use, it's mixed by a sorceress. To lose to an opponent such as you is a victory of its own. Accept my congratulations as well. Thanks. This guy was no honorable Good work. In the interim, I managed to determine which tent Lady Vivian occupies. Perhaps you could find a clue within it. You're right. Vivian's cursed in some way. Sensed it when she opened the tourney. In that case, we've no time to lose. Let us go. Yeah, let's go now. This is her tent. You must look inside. Search it. I shall hoot like an owl should someone approach. Okay. Now uh, here's the question number one. Will we hear that? <laughs> Thy lips are like a jar of concealing silence. ointment. How will magic at work here? Clothing's all dark green and yellow. Seems Yen's not the only one with a fixed color scheme. Yen's notes. Blath, a fee and expenses. 14 elves of cloth, 80 crowns. Shoes, dragon skin, 140 crowns. Racing saddle, 280 crowns. Magic cream, 1400 crowns total. Oriole feather. Vivian keep a bird as a pet? No sign of it here, if so. Hmm. Ruxay tend to be fond of birds. Someone approaches, quickly! You were supposed to hoot. We shall speak later. We must return to the tourney now. It's, it's time for the second contest. Sirs, what seeks you in my lady's tent? Inspiration? Be gone from here! Tourney 
business. Nothing of import. best and most storied come from far lands here to seek glory hear now their names as i shout them aloud save her their titles of their presence be proud palmerin of baran of longfall linus of metina rainfarn of atra Makaspag of Meikt, Dunmir of Joy, Guy de Boisfren, in service to the Duchess, Delwyn of Craigiau, Katai of Dondal, and Say of Lyria and Rivia, a prince. Geralt of Rivia! For Gregor of Mount Gorgon, let out a roaring cheer! The faint power of silence, Tony Champion from last year! Today's winner of contests, his victory to secure, shall face a Gregor in a challenge severe! Does ignorance demand a part in deceit? Does someone need telling how tourneys proceed? Hmm. Let's say yes. Anseis was mentioned in Witcher 2. I remember that. deserted mere days later. Your presence here is an offense to my honor. And yours is an offense to my eyes. If you're done, step aside, Prince. The Tony's protector, the mate Vivian. A beauty enhances both beasts and men. My heart's greetings, dear knights. May my grace guide you and show you the path of honor. Valor and glory! Accept my wishes of good fortune, sir, and devote all your strength to the tourney, and only it. The time has come for you, Sir Knight. Mount your steed, swift be your flight. Ladies and gentlemen of lineage illustrious, soon steeds shall swarm like ants most industrious. To beat time's passage, they'll ride like the gale. What a sight to behold, what a lark, what a tale. Before us, Geralt, from Rithia come, fast as the wind, bright as the sun. Move it. And he's up. We the thunderous roar, whose pounds the ground. No legion of drummers could make such a sound.
eyes of such style, such grace, such speed. To watch was a pleasure, a treat indeed. To honor our entrance, praise each fair night. We shall feast from eve till dawn's first light. The finest of wine and fruits shall be served. If you've blood in your veins, come collect what's deserved. I congratulate you. Here, your price. A saddle adorned with your crest. Many thanks. By the way, my mate saw a man with white hair sneak out of my tent. Would you know who it might have been? No idea. How juvenile. Congratulations on your win. In stellar style, no less. Ah, I no longer regret I was not able to participate. Almost. We must drink to this. Come with me to the feast. We shall await Vivian together. Lead the way. Hey, what about fighting? I want to fight. I want to kick some somebody's ass. So, any thoughts on Vivian? Her beauty is striking. That is not what I ask. Still too early to say anything I'd be willing to stand behind. Managed to figure one thing out. She uses powerful magic, masking illusions. Do you mean to say she might in truth look different than she seems? Only guessing right now. Found some clues. Got me wondering if your beloved Vivian's not a Bruxa. A Bruxa? You mean a... a vampiress? Not sure yet. We've still some time before Vivian arrives. Let us drink. Should we drink with him? Or, or we need our senses sharp? Can you tell, please tell me? Doesn't matter. Okay, thank you. To Vivian, may you find the means to aid her. To Vivian. Ah, when I first laid eyes on her, I finally understood what all those poems and ballads were trying to say. Love's not poetry alone. Sometimes it's prose. Sometimes it's just plain ugly. You say that only because you do not know Vivian as I do. A life with her would be sweetness itself. Actually, you don't know her all that well either. Her presence at this tourney is an affront to my honor. I demand satisfaction. Head to the nearest brothel then. How? I challenge you. <laughs> Is there any satisfaction? Then go to the nearest brothel. <laughs> Damn it. Alright. So I guess we're... Yeah, he's a knight and we're a knight, so we must accept, actually. Since you insist, I'm all yours. You shall bitterly regret deserting my mother's army once I'm done with you. May the blood I will spill wash away the stain of your cowardice! Let's get this over with, quick. Three, two... One! <laughs> Let the cringe begin. <laughs> Indeed. Come on. 
<laughs> you were right. It's cringy as hell. Reasons unknown except to them, the gods have chosen to punish me with defeat. But do not think your cowardice will be forgotten. Damn it, you still going on about that? Need to clear this up once and for all. Had to abandon your mother's camp back then because someone else needed my help. Badly. Couldn't refuse them. Didn't want to, in fact. You mean to say you had a secret mission? Set off to accomplish it, having vowed to tell no one of its nature, until you did? Something like that, minus the vow. And, uh, I'd still rather not divulge the nature of my secret mission. Can you accept that as justification? In agreeing to Jewel, you proved yourself a true knight. Thus, I accept your word as that of a man of honor. Glad to hear it. Now I got work to do. I actually got managed <laughs> managed to get hit by him. My heart swells to behold this beautiful celebration of valor and honor, and to witness you who embody the chivalric virtues in your lives, strive for greatness. Yet, after a time of combat must come a time of peace and respite. Thus, I invite all who fought in the tourney to this feast held in your, and none others, honor. And should any among you crave solitude, private tents await you nearby. The group melee shall take place on the morrow. Glory shall be within grass for each and every one of you. The best among you shall have the honor to face our reigning champion, the famed Grégoire de Gourgon, victor of last year's tourney. Celebrate, make merry, revel as you will, yet be mindful of the trial that awaits you tomorrow. Follow her. We shall meet in your tent before your last contest. You must help her. Yeah, the music was actually spectacular. It was so fitting, I, I really have no other words to say about it. Seeking Lady Vivian, some kind of maniac.
with gear like that, he can't really hope to um, get near this tent without being hurt. Hmm. Strange. I was sure I'd find her here. Vanished. Melted into thin air. And that bird. She a Bruxa? Flew off. Worth going after. Looks like the bird's leading me somewhere. I'm sorry, Birdie, but I will drown in this armor. I know that girl actually can swim in it, but... <laughs> Let's be honest. What was that? Panther? Holy crap! It's dangerous here. All right, Birdie, what's up? There's, there's another panther over there. I've got only one thing left to beat a panther with, with girl's bare hands. It seems that I've got my chance on it. Show me what you got. Come back, Flew off over the hill. Might be quicker to pass through the cave. We 
beautiful. The warble of a smithy knight. Damn it. I thought you no different from the knights. Good at tourneys, hopeless in the face of true danger. I was mistaken. So you're not actually a Bruxa? A what? Suspicion I had that you might be a vampire. Certain details seemed to confirm it. Then I changed my mind. Anyway, unimportant. Here you come to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, save myself from you, then I wanted them here, in this very spot, with no witnesses. Want what done? While you are a witcher, you were hired to kill me, were you not? Then do so, now. And do it quickly, I beg you. I shan't resist. Witchers only hunt monsters, and even then, not all. You're no monster. Then what am I to your eyes? Why, she's beautiful. thing I've figured out so far is you're no danger to anyone. Hope to learn more, though. If you've no contract on my life, why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? He wanted to help you. Asked me to do him a favor. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it, willingly. Why should I trust you? Because the Duchess trusts me? Because I'm a freak, too? Because cases like yours are my bread and butter? Take your pick. You shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone. So we're not... So we won't hide it from Guillaume. All right. You got nothing to fear. Came here to help you, and I won't peep a word to anyone unless I decide it's absolutely necessary. Ah, uh, so be it. I shall tell you what my mama once told me. When she was with child, expecting me, she and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Orioles sing. She would stroke her belly and say, my daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. 
One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it, and they had dared to delight in something that was not theirs. It demanded payment, and when my parents said that they had nothing, he claimed their unborn daughter as its own. Parents ever described the creature? They called it a nymph born of the deep woods, with no mother or father. But I was too young, too distraught by the curse's onset to ask after details. What happened after that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child, and my parents forgot that day's events. But fifteen summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially only when the moon was full. But now it's advanced so that even in daytime I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus I thought someone had discovered my secret, then hired you to kill me. In fact, I was resigned to death in coming here. Perhaps death would be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation. For I fear that is what lies in store. Ointment you use includes a potent magic ingredient. You don't have the immunity mages have. Use heavy doses, or normal doses too long, and it could be dangerous to you. I sensed this. The very reason I knew I would have to give it up in the end, and bid my human form a final farewell. The curse. It could be reversible. Once ran into a baron transformed into a cormorant, ostensibly for good. Managed to cure him completely. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? Can't guarantee a thing. Tough case yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone complicates things. Also, you claim the curse is increasing its hold. Symptoms are progressing. Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an innocent life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. So there is another. Pretty quick to reject help. Why is that? The curse once transferred would probably have a weaker hold on the new host. Lots weaker. I do not even wish to hear of it. All right, there is another. Ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Could have serious consequences. Consequences? What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as yet unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. Seven years. I understand. Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. Yet truth be told, I never thought I would get one. I came here prepared to die, yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free life. This is no dilemma. I agree wholeheartedly. I see why. I understand. Don't have to decide just yet. Think it through. I will. They must miss me at the tawny grounds by now. Shall we return? Let's. But are you gonna... Ah, uh, yes. I cannot appear there all in feathers. Pardon me for a moment.
You can change it, Will? No. But I discovered the water of this pool helps. Its effects are brief, but I can always be sure of them. Hmm. Interesting. Come. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Then speak, man. Can you not see I'm out of my mind with worry? What ails her? She asked me not to talk about it. But I want only the best for her. Perhaps I shall be able to help or, I don't know, console her at the least. We were both right, actually. It is a curse. One that's transforming Vivian into a bird. Her condition's getting worse. Gods! A curse that is a worse affliction than disease. What now? Can you help her? That'll depend on her. I'll try if she asks me. Significant risks involved, though. Shortening her life to about another seven years included. What? This is not what we agreed. Tough case. Curses hold on her grow stronger every day. And I'm a witcher, not a miracle worker. Heard of one other method that could work. Curse could be lifted via her reflection, say in a pool of water. Thing is, we'd need someone who'd willingly assume the burden of the curse. Take it on in her stead. You mean, become a bird themselves? Theoretically. See, curse grows weaker once it's transferred. Might end up as just an appetite for seeds and worms. All outcomes are on the table, though. Death included. I am prepared to sacrifice. Give my life for her. Just as King Friedank's knight did for the beautiful Queen Sero. Knew that already. But are you prepared to swallow bugs for the rest of your life? <laughs> yes. Which method do you believe to be best for Vivian? Don't know yet. But you have some notion, have you not? Do not tell me you seriously consider drastically shortening her life when I stand prepared to shoulder the burden. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's really has um, uh, all these virtues of a knight. So, if he so willingly wants to, yeah, so too, yeah, I thought about that, well, okay. Method using a pool of water is better, poses no threat to Vivian. Naturally. Y you must know you can count on me. I shall bear it all. But Vivian, I fear she might be too proud to agree to such a thing. I'll meet her after the last contest, talk to her. She could agree. I'm counting on you, Witcher, and I'm content we finally know something. What now? We know all, so you need not see the tourney through. You could withdraw. True, I shall get an earful from the Herald should you fail to show for the last contest, but it's nothing I can't handle. So, what will it be? I don't back out of anything. I'll take part in the last skirmish. Besides, Vivian will be busy till attorney's end. Indeed. In that case, you must meet the other knights of your team. They await near the arena's entrance, by the training ground. Got it. Thanks. I know now the two team's rosters. I shall be captain of ours. That means you shall do as I say for the duration of the fight. Is this clear? Palmer and Alonful will lead the opposing team. With this skirmish, we commemorate the Battle of Fox Hollow of 1218, when a hands of southern outlaws led by Haller the Brown attacked Tucson only to be driven off by brave knights, thus setting a precedent. Since that day, knights errant have guarded the Duchy's borders. 
Palmerin drew the short straw, so his team shall play the Barbarian Hattersman. Any questions? None. I doubt you'll do us any good. You know nothing of knightly combat as a witcher. Try at least to stay out of our way. It is time, gentlemen. Take your weapons and proceed to the arena. Can I at least take uh, an anti-monster blade? A cheer for the knights, the ladies, the lords. For our next entertainment, the team shall cross swords. Two rifle crews, two coteries shall fight for tilt till one drops to its knees. Who virtues laws or lance blows unclean shall forever be branded as shameful, obscene. While the knights prepare, let me say I'm elated to behold such a crowd on edge, breath baited. Whoever here wins the past champion shall face. All others must leave, heads bowed in disgrace. My sword is better than anyone's. Let's begin! Crowd, race a ruckus! Blood, sweat and tears shall soon follow in bucket! My teammates, they really do me badly. So glorious for showing such verve, each knight was victorious. Yet in Tony's as in life, but one champion may reign. Today he is the one, praised be his name. He felt a whole host slew the most. To Geralt of Rithia, who the strength of lions boasts, he sailed through all trials, each test he passed with ease, but now awaits the last. Will it bring him to his knees? For Gregoire de Gorgon, who on this ground's last one, shall spar him for the title, and the day is done. To the tired remainder, we salute your endeavors. Return to your wives, your loves, your whomevers. <laughs> It is time. Step into the arena. Should you suffer grievous harm during combat, have you any last wishes, any missives you wish passed to your loved ones? Thanks, I'm fine. The Witcher of Rithia, Geralt his name. Though aged be his visage, do not disdain. His locks true are white, but he was born to fight. Now entering the grounds, a tight ton of infamy. Grégoire de Gorgon, victor of Lassie's Tony. I wish both combatants good fortune and fame. Pacing the grounds, the titans lock the stairs. Ferocious and spy as wolves hunt the head. Mesdames et Messieurs, our future, our champion, the unequal Gregoire de Gorgon! Hip, hip, hooray! And now a few words from our sponsor, the Tupo Vidya. For strong bones and teeth, drink Tupo. A wine for your teeth, a wine 
A sight to behold! He defeated Grégoire de Gorgon! Hail Geralt! Herald! As patron of this grand tourney, I have the honor to decorate our grand champion. His vow he made upon the heron. Doubtless the gravity of his knightly pledge upon the noble vow carried him to this splendid victory. He showed great courage, great strength, great composure. He fought nobly with honor and thus rightfully deserves the title of this year's Champion of the Arena. I need to talk to you. Not now. We shall meet later in my tent. I have duties to attend to, as do you. For good God, you. The least you should do is a wave. my lady. Have you decided? I have. I stand by all I have said. I wish to endanger no one and thus choose the method involving an egg. If it's to be the egg of an oriole, I know where to find one. There is a nest in my clearing. Might you explain the nature of the ritual? Its exact course? Sure. I want to tell you something, though. I think we should try the alternate method first. I was clear. It is out of the question. Let me finish. Second method's less than reliable. To put it simply, might work, might not. But it will. I shall save you, O oh lovely Vivian. Why are you here, sir? This is a private conversation. He's not your foe. Got good intentions. You guessed right. He hired me. But only because he wanted to help you. Be not angry, my lady. You no longer bear this burden alone. I know all. You told him! I know a curse afflicts you, a curse which grows more severe by the day. I understand how you feel. My aunt, Countess de Lonfall, once contracted a strange illness which ate away at her from the inside. She grew weaker by the day, the light fading from her eyes. I remember her saying the worst was not the pain but losing mastery of her own body. She was so helpless. I fear you feel the same. The Witcher knows a way to lift the curse from you and let it rest on me. I wish to do this, to take it from you, Vivian. Why? Because I love you. I might have died in the arena. I sought to slay a Shailmar for you, but now I see the fool I was. Now I see how I risked my life for no purpose. Yet, with this, I can truly do something for you. I do not wish to inflict this horror on anyone. You saw how it looks, Witcher. I turn to you as one elder and hopefully one wiser as well. Do you think this a good idea? Worth a try, as I see it. Original curse fell on an unborn child. Doubt it'll take hold as strongly when transferred to a full-grown man. You've now heard the expert opinion. Let us do this together, Vivian. Very well. I was prepared to die. Thus, I am also prepared to attempt something mad. Now we must go to my pool in the woods, yes? Everything's agreed, so no point wasting any more time. Let's go.
the aunt you mentioned. What became of her? She passed on. <laughs> Your comment about this sword more more junk to our shit. <laughs> Another few seconds to learn. <laughs> Wait. Uh, well, this sword is actually actually not that bad. Though I still you know, think that we need to upgrade our um, gear to Grandmaster level. Then it won't be matched by anything. Yeah, I'm really fond of Witcher gear, thank you very much. <laughs> because it's it produces less noise. <laughs> Things get old. Bad idea. So, this is my true form. It is not too late. You may still change your mind. It will bring no shame. My mind is made up. My resolve is firm. If you can handle it, so will I. You are beautiful to me, even as you stand now. Oh, that's clearly rubbish. Shut your eyes, both of you, and don't move. Kion? Yes, my love? If you become as I am now, I wish you to know. I shall not leave you. Picture yourselves reflected in a pool of water. Focus on that. Damn, I think it might have worked. Honestly, didn't think this would work. Doubted anything would happen. Read about this ritual in grimoires. Descriptions all seemed dramatic, embellished. All stipulated a condition that seemed improbable. What condition was this? A real bond between those involved. True love. How do you feel? In general, you feel it change, Guillaume? I was struck hard, as if by a battering ram, but now I, I feel not at all different, apart from a slight itch on my skin. Are you certain it worked? Yes, something happened, definitely. Must be an intersection beneath this pond. Powerful magic at work here. Look at Vivian.
What now? Now? Now you get to live together, happily ever after. Still, watch yourselves carefully. Notice any troubling symptoms, find me. Naturally. I thank you, Garrett. Oh, and your payment. <sighs> At last! I have so much to make up for. Both to attend, distant lands to see. Free at last, as a bird. Ha! Huh? I find you droll. I had not noticed before. But you will not fly away without me. That remains to be seen, I think. But I too must thank you, Witcher. Don't mention it. You take care, both. This is really beautiful quest. Greetings, Witcher. Greetings, Garo. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> Let's at least take a glance on this sword. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it, as did I. And I wish you, uh, with that, a good night's sleep and uh, sweet dreams to you. Bye!